Hey guys, Half Chrome. Today we're talking MJX drones. You can see I have a handful of them with me today. I've got the Bugs 3H Altitude Hold. We had the original version of this from MJX the prototype. Turns out they made it. It's awesome. I've got the Force One F100, also known as the Bugs 3. This was basically the original. Got things kicked off. Why'd they start with three? I don't know. I got a couple of minis back here, the B3 Mini, the EX2 Mini. Um, and then, right here in the middle, I have the original GPS drone from MJX. This is the Bugs 2W with FPV. But, you know what? Up until now, this was all that you could get that had GPS from MJX. And it's okay. It's not bad. For under 200 bucks, it's a steal. But, now, you have better options. We have the MJX Bugs 3 Pro and the MJX Bugs 5W. These two are definitely upgrades over the MJX Bugs 2. Love them, we're gonna fly them. Which one's best for you? Let's find out. Okay, so off the bat, what is different between these two? You can see that the Bugs 3 Pro is larger. It has beefier motors, it's bigger, it's more powerful. I have the option uh, of two different cameras. I can use this 1080p or I can uh, opt for the wider field of view of the 720. Um, the ISO mount is nice and pushed forward so that is uh, that's alright. I like that. You're not going to get the props in view. Um, this one here has one camera option. It is a 1080p camera. What is nice about this one is there is a servo motor in here that will move this tilted up and down. Now it is not a gimbal. Alright so it's not going to stabilize for you. It does not have electronic image stabilization. Um, it's smaller, it's a little bit more nimble, but neither one of these is quick or as fast as the original Bugs 3, right? These are built to be stable GPS drones, and they are. It's really what you want is to see these guys in the air, so let's get them both up in the air. You can see them in action. We'll show you the pictures from the camera. Uh, here they are. We're doing a stability test, and you can see the one in the back is moving around. That's the Bugs 3 Pro. The 5W is definitely a little bit more stable. It's a smaller, lighter drone, has the same motors as the original Bugs 3, uh, which means it's got some zip, but both of these have been tuned down a little bit, so don't expect to be flying fast and furious like you can with the original Bugs 3. They are made for taking photos. So here they are zipping around, and now they do move. They are lots of fun to fly. Uh, this is the Bugs 3 Pro, and we're going to take a look at the Bugs 5W here. Again, both of these are fun drones to fly. Nothing wrong with either one of them. Uh, right now, we're looking at some video from the Bugs 3 Pro. This is the 1080p action camera. Uh, you'll see that it does not have stability, so you're going to have to fly nice and slow if you want a solid, crisp picture. We're not doing a very good job of that here. Um, you'll see there were some artifacts there as we flew into the sun a little bit, uh, which is something that you'll see on a lot of drones, even some of our more expensive ones. Now here, this is the video from the 5W. You can see we're tilting the camera down. That is not something you can do with the Bugs 3 Pro. So added feature, pretty nice. In terms of quality, I think the quality on the Bugs 3 Pro camera might be slightly better, but you know what, they're pretty close. Both of these drones fly with the new Bugs Go app, which is awesome. Okay, so let's talk about the new MJX Bugs Go app. It looks a lot like the DJI Go app, and I'm pretty sure that's done on purpose. Uh, the good news here is that it has a lot of functionality just like the DJ DJI Go app. Uh, along the top here, you'll see some useful information like how many satellite signals you have, how far away it is, the altitude, your battery, um, the, the signal strength for your Wi-Fi feed, uh, and more. There's a lot of really good stuff there. Now, both of these drones have excellent flight modes uh, with the return to home, the point of interest, and the follow me. You can also fly via waypoints. Now, uh, the return to home, the point of interest, and the follow me are all located on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you can switch between photo and video, and then underneath you have your waypoint options. In terms of stability, uh, we really like this 5W. It is absolutely rock solid stable. Now, the 3 Pro, we got an early prototype of it. It's not quite as stable. Uh, maybe that is the reason there, but uh, early returns on the 5W here, fantastic. Quick summary around the cameras. If I want options, I have a GoPro. I buy the Bugs 3 Pro, I'm going to put it on here. If I want to stick with this one with the up and down tilting camera, I go with the Bugs 5W. Now, Here's where 
the Bug X3 Pro might be a better fit as well. I could take this one and turn it into an aerial photography machine by adding a two-axis gimbal.